that I really should film another tutorial for you and I really didn't know what to go for because it's summer and I have done all my go-to looks that I usually pull on during the summer so yeah and I wanted something that will be a little bit bold but still really really simple and that you can wear it um, to a night, to a date out, to a meeting up with friends, something really fun and nice that you can do really quickly and will just pop those brown eyes. So what I did today is a cranberry eye with really muted lips and I think it's so beautiful, I think it's so com it's com it it complements so well brown eyes and the green eyes as well. So I thought I'll do something for people with my eye color. So if you like it and if you want to know how I did this really really simple look then please keep on watching and if you have any requests or anything that you would like me to do, different videos, um, tutorials, maybe reviews, then by all means please let me know here in my blog, wherever you want, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, I take requests and I'll be more than happy to make things that you'd like to see. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with priming my lid and I'm using Ofra Eye Gel Primer. I'm bringing it all the way till my brow and whatever is left on my finger I'm pulling on my lower lash line like that. Now I'm taking a flat shader brush and using MAC's Naked Lunch eyeshadow to put all over my eyelid. I'm bringing this shadow up till my crease, being really care careful not to overbear. Now that we have our base on, I'm going to take just a little bit on the same flat shader brush of Max Cranberry and this is a really bright color so you really want to be careful and tap off the excess. I'm going to apply this eyeshadow on the outer half of my eyelid. Starting by tapping it onto my eyelid and then with sweep motions apply it everywhere I want it, up until my crease. Blending it a bit so the two colors seem gradual. Now here comes the tricky part. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm going to use Max eyeshadow in Blackberry. It is a very muted brownish berry color and it's gorgeous and I want to apply it in my crease. But I want it to be very subtle and gradual the way I have applied it on my other eye as you can see here. So, taking the pencil brush, dipping it in the eyeshadow and very light handed <laughs> apply it in my crease and in my outer V. So let's get started. Bringing it into my crease. Now comes the most important part of this look and this is blending. Taking my blending brush, this is 217 by MAC, and I start to blend. And if you hear some weird noises in the background, this is my dog drinking water, so... Yeah. Now, before we go any further, I want to apply a light highlight under my brow bone, so the eyeshadow won't go as high as it does right now. So I'm taking Naked Lunch, which I used in the beginning, dabbing it a bit on the seam here. And now I'm taking a tapered little brush, taking some of MAC's eyeshadow in Fluff, which is 
a very very shimmery highlight color and apply it under my brow like this I'm gonna apply it in my inner corner as well just to brighten it up okay and now I continue blending take my blending brush and dip it just a little bit into the same blackberry eyeshadow and dab it just a little bit here in the outer corner. I want to darken it just a tad more and blend in. I'm taking the same pencil brush, dipping it really really well into the dark color, the blackberry one, and applying it just below my lower lash line, very close. I'm taking a black eyeliner, this is the one by Jay, this is my favorite black liner. Now, with this look, I really want a strong, bold, flick black liner on my upper lash line. So, I'm gonna do a very fine work. I'm taking a tiny, weeny, teeny brush like this. You can see, like, if I compare it to a standard um, brush, eyeliner brush, this is a 263 by MAC, and you can see the difference in size. This is a very small, fine brush for details. It's the 23 brush by Yossi Beto. And I'm using my Max Black Track. I'm actually gonna start with the flick, since it's really easy because we already did that sharp, crisp line in our outer V. So, I'm just gonna continue it. Because I already have that guideline, I can pull my eyelid a little bit, so it will be a bit easier. Okay, so now I have my eyeliner on, and the final thing that's left for me to finish up my eye look is mascara. I'm gonna use my usual Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara in 100% black, and I'm gonna apply a really thick coat on my, both my upper and lower lashes. Okay, so our eyes are ready and for the rest of my face, because the eyes are quite bald and pop out, I want a very muted look for everything else, so I'm gonna take my huge bronzer brush, I'm not gonna contour, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm gonna take my Max blush in Margin, which is a very nice muted peachy bronze color, and I'm just very lightly gonna brush it on the backs of my cheekbones just to warm up my complexion now that my complexion is a bit warmer and looks more alive I'm gonna take my angled M F40 angled brush by Sigma and I'm gonna take just a little bit of Dolly Mix which is this beautiful very very bright pink with a bit of shimmer in it I'm very carefully gonna apply it on top 
of margin and just a tad on the apples of my cheeks and blend out now if you're not really happy and you think it's a little bit bold, I think it's a little bit bold compared to what I had in mind, then I'm going to take my beauty blender which I used to apply my foundation and I'm just going to blend everything in. So the final thing that I have remained is the lips. And because the eyes, as I said, are quite bold, I want something very mute that just will give a bit of shine even without a big pop of color just a little bit of shine to my lips so I'm gonna use my Revlon lip butter in 095 creme brulee And that's my finished look. I hope you like it and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye!